Salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Well, things just went from bad to worse for a local Palm Little pastor. The former pastor of, let me get the name right, Palm, let me, I can't think, what is the name of that church? Palm View Baptist Church, something like that. I believe it's Palm View Baptist Church, located in Palmetto. Um, Pastor Jonathan Elwing, I do remember his name. Well, things just got from bad to worse. Tune in, let's talk about it. Until then, roll my intro. Salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Salute to all my day ones. Salute to the new subscribers. Salute to everyone who is taking time out, you know, to leave a comment in the comment box, whether we agree with one another or not. Just thank you for the overall support. And y'all, we trying to run it up. So thumbs up, thumbs up, you know, thousand subscribers. Let's get there, you know. It'll be monumental for the platform. Um, Listen, if you're just not discovering the platform, as you come in, wipe your feet on my welcome mat, you know, hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell, share these videos, share the experience, share the growth. Trolls, only God and your mama can love you. And last but not least, last but not least, last but certainly not least, y'all know what to do. Put them up, y'all. One time. Yeah, yeah. I say one time. Yeah. I say one time. Mm-hmm. One time for the Uncut Squad, one time for the Gifted Family, one time for Big Bros Corner, Big Bros Backup, one time for God, the most high creator of everything, the real MVP, the Savior, y'all, and two salutes to the G.O.D. We going in. I told y'all I'm going to keep my foot on these fake Christian pastors, Christian cult leaders next. Next, I'm going to show you that they are only here to deceive you, that they are only human like us. And this ain't me being judgmental, y'all. I'm not in the pulpit. This is me exercising my First Amendment right, freedom of press. Yep, yep, yep. So, with no further ado, let me uh, bless you. Listen up. Well, a tip from a cryptocurrency company led to the arrest of a Palmetto pastor. The Manistee County Sheriff's Office says Jonathan Elway purchased images of child sexual abuse. One week later, he's facing additional charges, this time for images involving him sexually abusing a young child. Fox 13's Kimberly Cuisant has more from Manatee County. <clears throat> Investigators here at the Manatee County Sheriff's Office still have a lot of files to go through on Elwing's devices, but what they found so far has sickened them. This is a monster. This is a man who went to great lengths to, to hide his true identity. He's the former senior pastor of Palm View First Baptist Church in Palmetto. Jonathan Elway now sits behind bars, charged with multiple counts of possessing sexual images of children. So we're just going to, to continue to be very methodical in this investigation and download all this information. It takes time. Deputies arrested him after being tipped off to an online child porn purchase through cryptocurrency. One week later, he faces even more charges for more than a dozen newly discovered images including two which show him sexually abusing a child. The concern is, is are there other uh, victims, potential victims, given his close contact with children? 43-year-old Elwing resigned before he was arrested. Larry Bianchi, a deacon for the church, says he was hired a few years ago. We started you know, do background checks and everything you could possibly do to, to uh, make sure this person was was the correct person. Bianchi says the congregation is leaning on each other and their faith. He, for all intents and purposes, appeared to be the guy. Uh, three and a half years down the road, it's, it's obvious now that long term, he's not the guy. Sheriff Rick Wells believes there are additional victims. He would abuse anyone at any time. There doesn't seem to really be um, a limit to what he's capable of. The sheriff's office expects additional charges for Elwood. In Manatee County, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News. Wolf in sheep's clothing. They started out by saying that this pastor is a monster. 
that he would pray on anyone. He would even pray on God and use God's name, use God's sanctuary in order to fulfill his own little egregious little pedophilia type fantasies. That sounded nasty just saying it. That sounded nasty. Can you imagine attending this church and putting your faith in this man because he speaks well? And the whole time this man is only putting on for you because you have little children there with you that he is interested in. Oh, how does that hit? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Did that hit y'all the way it just hit me? Huh? Did it hit you the way it just hit me? Okay. The deacon of the church said they thought he was the one. And then three years later, this is what you get. His background was so clean. I've done a story on him recently. Recently, when this first happened, I did a story on him. A local pastor, local pastor, praying on local children. Local children. And these parents, these Christians, these, these cult partakers are blind to it. All they hear is God's name, Jesus' name. But you're not vetting the person. How beautiful are the feet of the one who brings you the message? Satan can shape shift. He can come in any shape, form, and or fashion. He can shape shift right down to taking the, 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 the form of a pastor, a man of God, a church. Where's the dignity? Where's the reverence? Where's the fear of God? This man did this in cryptocurrency trying to hide it and the cryptocurrency company is the same one I tipped off the police you have footage on your phone on one of your devices of you doing something with one of these children notice they never said little boy or little girl whose child was it was he teaching Sunday school and said let me show you where the bathroom is how whose child but y'all keep trusting these pastors Keep trusting these people. See, I trust God because godly people wouldn't do this. And God wouldn't do that. <clears throat> so I walk spiritually for these reasons. I'm not concerned about religion. I'm not concerned about the made up gods in, in certain books and in certain instances. No, no, no. Because anything in a physical form that has been tampered by man, you know, rewritten by man, edited, retranslated, you know, things can get plagiarized, things can get twisted. We all have a, we, we carry God with us. Do you realize when you walk into the church, you are carrying the temple with you? You're bringing God to the church. You're bringing the spirit of God there. If you ever attended a church and you've never felt the Holy Spirit, guess what? That means the Holy Spirit does not live in any member present in that church. Because when you're filled with the spirit and you walk in there and you praise God's name, the way you should praise and worship God's name, that spirit moves if it's upon you. It moves. This is sad and this is local. I live here. I live here. So right now, we're battling gunfire here. We're battling fake pastors. We're battling everything. And I told you it happens locally. And I'm waiting on it to happen with the pastor in Sarasota so I can definitely speak on it. So I can definitely speak on it. I'm waiting on something to come up on DMRC, and I'm going to speak on it. I can't wait. I have been looking. I am searching diligently. Diligently. And I'm not doing this to target people. I lie. I am. I am. I am doing it to target people. But I'm also doing it to wake people up to show you that you've got to stop putting your faith and your trust in man and start putting that faith and that trust, that faith and that trust in God himself. The spirit of God, y'all. Not man. Man is imperfect, which is why God had to destroy the earth one time already with water. We're imperfect, and we're always going to be imperfect. That is the reason we have to die. Because it is said that we are imperfect. So trusting an imperfect man to deliver God's perfect message and to live the perfect life is just an imperfection of thought. It's an imperfect thought. Well... I really want to know what y'all thought about this. A pastor, they have found video footage of him being sexually involved with these minors. Couldn't have been his own children. 
how did he get access to these children? Is that why he opened up a church? The whole time he's preaching, he ain't looking at the women, he's looking at the little kids. He's having all these type of thoughts in his head about children. And he's hiding who he is so that he can hide behind the word of God, continue to brainwash people so you continue to bring your children and he can pick them like little flowers at his disposal. I hope this message hits home. Ladies and gentlemen, stop trusting these churches. Stop trusting these cults. Stop trusting these Christian organizations and institutions and these so-called men of God. Everyone is not who they say they are. I can come to you and tell you I sin every day. I can come to you and tell you I've been to prison. I can come to you and tell you I'm not perfect. <clears throat> you know, I'm not the most forgiving person you'll ever meet. God is still working on me. But see, I can admit this. I'm not hiding. And I'm not going to fake it in front of a camera. This is the Mr. Uncut everyone gets, whether this camera is on or off. Whether this camera is on or off. This is how I walk on a daily basis, everybody. But I'm man enough to hold myself accountable and still grow spiritually. Make those changes. You know, one thing that I've learned to do is when the world tells you not to pay attention to something, the best thing you can do is pay attention to it. Because if you don't, you're going to wish you had it. In this instance, I guarantee there's some parents and some more victims out there who wish that they would have paid closer attention. With that being said, everybody, you know what it is. Get your one-on-one. -on -one. Get your one-on-one. -on -one. I say, get your one-on-one -on -one with your higher power. There's only one God, one Savior, y'all. There's only one chance at this thing called life and salvation. And we've got to get it right. You know, stop running to men who are just as imperfect as you are. Thinking that you're going to save your salvation. You just may be condemning yourself to damnation. All right? Y'all stay prayed up. Stay blessed up. Stay meditated up. Stay protected. Stay real. Stay woke. Stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great. Be you. And if y'all got little children like this running around the church, man, y'all might want to go ahead and go get one of them little blue leashes you put on your children. Because you don't know these pastors, man. You might have to pull your child back out of someone. These pastors like this get hold of your children on a Sunday morning. You know what I'm saying? And you thinking that they in Bible school or, or what is it? What is it? Early in the morning. Bible study. Sunday school. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. He got the R. Kelly treatment in mind for people's children. That is so disgusting. And y'all trust this and y'all give y'all money to this. You give your time to it. You're brainwashed. You're scared to wake up. You're scared to speak out. You're scared to speak against it because you think God is going to punish you. Maybe God is going to punish you for not saying anything. That part. Oh, shit.